Okay, now we are doing the GORT 5. It's the Gray Oral Reading Test, 5th edition. On the front of the examiner's record booklet, it has the identifying information as well as the scores you receive on each, sec on each story, and then a performance summary at the bottom with raw score, age equivalent, grade equivalent, and more. Um, when you come to the inside, it gives you, it tells you exactly what materials you need, which includes the examiner record booklet, the student book, a timer, and a recording device if you want. And then the instructions say to first determine the student's entry point according to his or her grade level. So we're going to say the student is in first grade. So it says to start on story number one. So we would turn to the story number one in the booklet and then say to our client, I want you to read some stories out loud to me. I'll give you the book, and when I tell you to begin, start reading the story out loud. Read the story as carefully and as quickly as you can. When you have finished, I will ask you some questions about what you have read. So then we would hand it to them and do exactly that. Um, the basal is a fluency score of nine or 10 for two consecutive stories. And um, the ceiling is when the child receives a fluency score of two or less for two consecutive stories. So, and then to get the fluency scores on each test, um, there is a little bit on the bottom of each page for each story to go through. Um, so it gives you a conversion rate between the time it took and then the deviations from print. So, you have to watch for if there is a deviation from print or any inaccuracies and count them. And also have the time because you would put your rate score and accuracy score to find your fluency score, which is what gives you your basal and your ceiling. Okay, so now we will do story number one. And I would read the directions that I read earlier. And then I would give her the booklet and Tell her when to begin. So you can go now. See, Father. Father is here. We want to play. Can you play, Mother? We can play here. And that took her 10 seconds. So to find our fluency score, we look at the bottom. And in the time, we go all the way down here. And 9 to 12 seconds gives her a score of 4 for the rating score. And then she didn't make any... Um, errors in the story so her accuracy score would be a 5 and that makes her fluency score a 9. So then we do that for each test and then we bring all the scores to the front. So we would give the rating score and the accuracy score that we found and then that would calculate our fluency score and the comprehension score. But after she reads it I will ask her these questions. Where do you think here is in the story? I would say here is the room that the father is in. Okay. Who is talking in this story? I am talking. With whom did the child ask to play? Mother. Who has just come home? Father. What does the story say father wanted to do? Father wanted to play. Okay, so after she answers each one, I would give her a score, and it shows me the correct responses, and I'll add up all the scores from the questions to get the comprehension score. And then, as I said, we would bring all the scores to the front page of the record form, and then we would add up all the rating scores, all the accuracy scores, all the fluency scores, and all the comprehension scores to get total scores for each section. And then we would go into this booklet to find the Ross, to translate the Ross score into age equivalents, grade equivalents, percentile rank, and scaled scores for each of the different scores that we calculated earlier. So then after that, we find all those percentages and see what area the child is in.